fuck you to Nicolas Maduro. Vete a cagar, vete a la merda. Toma na cu, as I would say in Portuguese. I am disappointed. I am shocked. The reason, I always say this. The reason why I was so hopeful, the reason why you see in so many fucking Venezuelans, and no disrespect to them, muchísimo more para toda la gente venezolana, the reason why you're seeing so many of them run away to New York, run away to Texas, taking that goddamn hike to that dangerous ass forest of Dadion, to Panama, El Salvador, Costa Rica, whatever you gotta go through, is because of the economic situation in their country because of the dictatorship that is the Chavez regime, that is the Nicolas Maduro, all this other shit. This neo communism socialist shit they got going on over there. Which, if there was nothing wrong with it, listen, if 25 to 30 percent of the country hadn't fled the country in the last 15 years, no, that is not an overestimation, Google it, then damn it, I wouldn't be talking shit. I would be talking shit. The reason why I felt so compelled to talk about this, I've made multiple videos talking about this situation, about the election, was because. People talk so much shit about Venezuelans, about Venezuela. I've made a lot of videos talking talking about Venezuelans, whether it's crime that a lot of the migrants were doing in New York. But the reason why I feel compelled to talk about this is because if we're going to talk this much shit about them, we have to talk about the root of why a lot of them are coming here and the situation that they're in. And I was hopeful that this would be, you know, marker for change, bro. And it really shocks me, bro. I'm going to keep on with you. I'm not saying in the United States we have the most correct government, but I will say it shocks me sometimes how corrupt some governments are in South America, in Latino and Latin America, just in general. Like, how in the fuck? I'm going to bounce away from Venezuela for a minute. How in the fuck did that dude who's a president of Brazil, this motherfucker was literally under a federal investigation, sting opera. Back to Venezuela. Let's just step to Venezuela. First off, my love to Marina Corina, Marina Machado, I'm saying her name incorrectly. Great woman, beautiful woman, I do have a crush on her. And I want to say, her and Edmundo, Edmundo Gonzalez, they were clearly the unified winners of this election. In fact, I'm going to show you some. So this is a vid picture that went viral, that the people who were responsible for the um, counting of the votes coming in, that showed the accuracy of that the guy who was beating Nicolas Maduro was actually beating him. If you see, if you can, see, I'm gonna try to see if I can zoom it in, and because if you were keeping up with the polls, it looked like up until this point that he was beating him by a really, really fair margin. But you know, hey, 